wow, here I am with this bunch of people that are about half my age. <laughs> I finished too. This is where you can find Carol most afternoons. While many people are out eating lunch, she's getting her fitness on. She's the bright spot. She's When she walks in, it's always, hi, Aunt Carol. We call her Aunt Carol. Get up there. It all started two years ago when her niece Dawn took her to a Wednesday Friends Day class at CrossFit 616. I came and I thought, oh, that's fun. I like doing that. It, it's improve my life. And even on some of the hottest days. Are you tired? No, I'm not tired. Carol just keeps on going because it's not just about staying in shape, but rather getting strong for everyday tasks, some that were hard to tackle after she broke her leg about three years ago. Really, with the broken leg, I was nervous about doing things. But that doesn't hold her back anymore. I'm stronger. I mean, my balance is better. Um, it's a lot of things like, okay, when I get on my bike, I can get my leg over the saddle much easier. I can get up from a low chair. I can get out of my kayak. So I can lift the heavier objects. I can, I can lift them with confidence that I know how to, I know have better technique. She's earned that by working out and improving her fitness. Those are the things that mean more to us as trainers than someone PRing their mile or their 5K or a heavy lift. We want to see their life improved outside of the gym as a marker of, of really success in their fitness. And each exercise is tailored to her. She might swing a lighter kettlebell. She might squat to an object that's a little bit higher than you know a really low squat. And as for Carol's next goal. I want to get 50 pounds over my head. <laughs> But most importantly, I can get out and do things I enjoy. So that's why I'm thankful for my fitness. <laughs>